So I haven't really dabbled in Black Ops 1 Zombies mods much, but I thought we'd try out Project 115. We're going to do a gun game. We're going to start on round one. Boom, here we go. So we have some really like unique weapons. We've got like an infinite warfare zombies hood. It looks kind of sick, actually. The MX Garand on the... Okay. It's just a word. Interesting. But yeah, we got like, I'm assuming modern warfare weapons or something, or it could just be a mix of like anything. But what better way to showcase off like all the guns than to have the gun game mod on? Oh, wait, are these Nuketown zombies where they actually are? <laughs> it's also cool that we need kills to progress the guns and not points. Uh, hello, where is his last zombie at, dude? Oh, here we go. Of course. It's always, always one. Oh, two, apparently. Oh, wait, no, the round just ended, but it, it didn't play a sound or anything. Okay, fair enough. So yeah, this fully renovates the entirety of Black Ops 1 zombies, and we've got like these cool custom power-up things. Is that full power? Wait, what? Do I have a specialist of some kind? Oh, it even plays the IW Zombies music when it like round changes. That's cool. I mean, my gun seems to be doing quite a bit of damage. So maybe it's just like an increased damage power up, perhaps. I don't know. Oh, we're on the HBRA3. What the hell? I wasn't expecting advanced warfare guns. That's actually really cool. Oh, we've got an insta kill. <laughs> the Exo Zombies drops. Okay. I like this already, actually. I believe it works for every single BO1 map on Plutonium, but I'm not 100% certain. Let's buy Quick Revive. What are the perk icons like? Oh, they're in the middle at the bottom. That's cool. Kind of like Cold War then. I wonder how many points. Oh, you don't get any point. Oh, you do. I got 100. Normally on BO1, like up until I think it was Origins, the first map to actually have it, where if you lay down by a perk, you get points. But the modder uh, obviously put it in, which is nice. All right, let's go open the next door. What's going on here? We've got a vector on the wall. Nice. Good old speed cola. My gun is awfully dark. Oh, there we go. Like, I guess uh, BO1, you know, it's a 2010 game. The lighting isn't exactly amazing. Whoa. My gun's Pack-a-Punch now. The MacTab 45. I sort of put like random guns on. What's this? Whoa. <laughs> okay, I can sprint around really fast. Nice. I don't think my zombies will be able to catch up to me now. Holy shit. Oh, I need 20 points. Of course I do. Okay, let's go and open up the door. We can go turn the power on, of course. Do I spy a tombstone soda in the corner? <laughs> what the hell? We're bringing tombstone back, huh? Interesting choice. Well power on any other perks just randomly placed around oh double points though i will take that can't exactly complain you know i'm not really a major fan of kino from black ops 1 i mean it's very iconic don't get me wrong but it's just a bit too bare bones for me and i really despise the nova crawlers but this definitely makes it interesting i see phd flopper oh that's so cool kino with phd i mean it would make the map infinitely better if it actually was on the map not gonna lie because it's kind of crazy like if i'm gonna play an easy map i'm gonna probably pick ascension because it has stamina up as well as phd like why would i not choose that map what is that in the corner there oh it's just a barrier <laughs> there's me thinking it's some crazy like perk machine no it's literally just a barrier amazing brain moment uh we'll go and buy jug because we might as well well, Galva Knuckles are on this map. Oh, oh, you can't buy it if you have gun game on. Sad. We can revisit this mod without like the gun game thing. I just thought as a first impression, it's a nice way to like get a feel for it. You know, this shotgun's pretty nice, actually. Is that a nuke? That's the tiniest nuke I've ever seen. That's so cool. Looks a bit like, yeah, the IW zombies drop almost. Unless it is just the EXO zombies one. I'm, I mean, I thought it was the DNA bomb. So I'm assuming it's IW and we got the formless fear, the FFAR. Holy shit, we've got like 57 to go. This is going to be a while. We have some kind of a, pl oh, full power and a um, power surge. Well, it's not a fire sale, so I don't know what it is. Oh my God, wait, this is a... It's a pew pew gun. Whoa. Why did that zombie just go flying? I don't know. Is that an explosive zombie? What? But, huh? Oh, if they touch me, they just go flying. What the? What? What? Okay. I mean, it's a packet punch drop, but I don't need it, which is a shame because it's going to be a waste. Uh, oh, well. Oh, wait, what? I, oh, now I have an SVU apparently, but it didn't count as like the next weapon. What? That's that's very strange. I have infinite ammo apparently. I see you over there, pew. Oh, I wonder if they put double tap 2.0 in this map instead of 1.0, because I would definitely buy it if that was the case. You know, I'm not really a fan of double tap one. Very underwhelming. Let me buy speed cola though. Why do I hear a, is that a Margwa? I'm not tripping out. I swear I just heard a Margwa spawning. Oh, come away, special zombies. What is, ooh. 
Oh, that's boots. Let's go. They've got these weird, like, special zombies that I don't understand. Oh my god, it's an actual Magua! <laughs> Wait! I wasn't ready for this. What the hell? This isn't Shadows of Evil. Oh my god. Dude, what? How do I kill him? How do I pop? Is it uh, okay? I think he's dying. Oh, this is uh, an interesting revelation. We've got deagles. Did he just teleport? He did. Oh my god. Ah! I don't know what's happening. Oh my hell. Jesus Christ, get out. Okay, you're gone. <laughs> What? I don't even have words for the last 30 seconds of gameplay. We're alive, though. Jiminy Christmas, man. Speaking of Christmas, I can't believe it's already, like, the first week of November's gone. Like, bro, where'd October to go? I went to see the FNAF movie, and I absolutely loved it, and it looks like it is Double Tap 2.0. Oh, I'm so happy now. Big W. Oh, is that a Vulture Raid as well? Nice. And, and a free perk. Okay, I got PhD. Let's go. It's just win, 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 apparently. And now we got this little power drop thing that I don't exactly remember what it does. I'm not gonna lie, this gun's loud as hell. Why do I hear thudding? It th is that a megaton? A megaton from Cold War Zombies. Y you're kidding. What? Oh my god. Uh, don't, don't slap me, don't slap me, don't slap me. Bro, what am I supposed to do about this? I've got an intervention. Go away. Oh, open the door. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. What on earth, man? Please, just die. Oh, are we splitting? Wait, they actually do split as well. <laughs> okay, I killed one of them. What the fuck is happening? What? <laughs> okay, I think they're dead. Well, that wasn't exactly how I was expecting this whole mod to go, but you know. Vulture Raid, here we go. Oh my god. It, ooh, we got Electric Cherry somewhere, apparently. Right here, let's go. 2,000 points. Oh, this is what the box looks like. It's like the uh, Origins one. That's cool. I want to get a different gun, but we do have Double Tap Hello. If we could not sneak up on me, that'd be great. It's so awesome, like, playing BO1 with mods, because I, I always felt so disappointed that there wasn't any. Like, it goes from World of War to BO3, but technically... Oh, is that a free perk? <laughs> well, there we go. We got Electric Cherry. And another free perk. What? Okay, don't mind if I do. Mule Kick is useless, of course, but... Dude, seeing the Electric Cherry thing, like... Oh. On BO1, it's something about it is just awesome. I need four kills to go to the next gun. I'm hoping we can have, like... I mean, I want a launcher now that we have PhD, actually. Leng's Ping Beast. This is the MX Garand, right? I see Deadshot down there. I don't know where that is. What other perks are there? Mule Kick, Speed Cola... Widows? What? Widows? And Stamina Up? What? I'm sorry. So... <laughs> Oh, hi, Stamina. I'm just chilling in the back here. Damn, I've heard a lot more perks than I was actually expecting. Oh, this is so good, dude. Like, literally just this alone makes Kino so much more fun to play. All my issues are pretty much fixed. Like, I don't see any Nova Crawlers. We've got, like, 10 plus perks. Random assortment of weapons, which is cool. Oh, we got a nuke. Of course we did. Oh, I think it... Did it promote me to the next gun? Because now I have the Deagle after I picked up the Pack-a-Punch thing. Not exactly sure, but I think the nuke actually gave us kills towards the next gun, which is cool. Deagle do be a bit badass, not gonna lie. We've even got the smoke thing. Does it actually work? Like, yep, the zombies just ignore me. That's so fucking cool. The perk icons themselves look really nice as well. Oh, we have the CUDA. So we've got BO3 guns as well. Nice. I know there's some other, like, BO3. There's actual, like, custom maps as well. I want to give them a try at some point. I'm not entirely sure how to install them, but I imagine with plutonium it can't be that difficult. Oh, hi, there's a bloody Magua. How's it going, dude? If we could just die, that would be brilliant. Please? Oh, my God. Jesus, he's fast. He is fast as... F he's frozen. I think he might be mad. What's this drop I'm hearing? Where is it? Fast boots. Gimme. There we go. Gives us a max ammo, which, you know, isn't exactly useful considering, uh... Oh, there's another max ammo as well. Oh, it reloads our gun, though, which is nice. Got to appreciate that. This shotgun seems pretty decent. It's now pack-a-punched, apparently. <laughs> okay. Um, what is this drop? Lightning thing? Oh, right, yeah, it's the one where if I walk into them, they just go flying. That's cool. Hey, what's up, zombie? Boom! <laughs> you thought you stood a chance? <laughs> the ragdoll is just amazing. Like, boom! Boom! That's just, that's too funny. Oh, it's run out. Oh my god, it's a Megaton. Hello. 
I mean, the shotgun instantly split him. So, I mean, <laughs> dude, this is so cool. I see a free perk. I want it. I want it. I got it. I want it. Give me it. Move out the way. I don't know what is around here. Okay, we got Tombstone, of course. Now we're on to the Vector. I think Vector was in, was in BO2. I know it was in like a load of other games as well. I believe it was BO2 anyway. Jesus Christ. Oh, we have infinite ammo. I was wondering. <laughs> I'm going deaf, dude. It's by Stamina Up. Stamina Up on Kino de Toten. Very, very interesting. I also want Deadshot, but how the hell do we get there? I think if we open this door, where is it? It doesn't open all the way through, I hope. Oh, damn it, it does. Ah! This is like the door you're never supposed to open on Kino, but you know, I, I I did it for Deadshot, bro. The Deadshot that doesn't even have an icon, apparently. And neither does Stamina. Interesting. I guess it bugged out. Who knows? The Rajin XM2 or something? Oh, it's a burst. Who the hell knows? Okay, for a packet punch gun, it's kind of ass, not gonna lie. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, it's just doing no damage. Considering how many guns there are, I don't even know if we'll be able to beat this gun game, but we'll we'll try our best. More speedy boots. Okay, don't mind if I do. Probably my favorite drop. Oh, I don't know what I just picked up, but it was something. And a nuke. Nice. Oh, and something else. Why are there so many drops on me? So I think that's all the perks. We got, yeah. Wi oh, no, we need Widow's Wine. Where is this beauty? It's in the corner up here, apparently. Oh, tucked away back here. Oh, Widow's in BO1. That's so sick. Does it actually have an icon? It doesn't. Okay. <laughs> I guess they ran out of icons. Probably just a visual glitch. I'm imagining we still do actually have Widows. I guess only one way to find out. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, we definitely do. Jesus. We've got a pack of punched Cuda now, apparently. Oh, Animagua. Cool. Brilliant. Just, just what I ordered. Oh, jump over them. Oh, yeah, we have PhD. We could dolphin dive, obviously. Go away, dude. You freaking monster. Zap. Oh, this is so fucking cool, dude. Oh, God. Wait, Electric Cherry actually saved me there, not gonna lie. Come on, MX Garand, you can do it. What? Take damage, dude. I think you actually have to shoot it in the center, which is uh, interesting. You know how normally you'd shoot a Margwa in the head? I guess they couldn't port in, like, the uh, specific way of killing him, but whatever. The fact this map has no Nova Crawlers, instantly, this is like, it pushes Kino from a C tier to, like, an A tier for me. We actually do have a zombie counter as well, which is nice, so we've got one zombie left. Where could it be? As Deadshot is just ominously staring at me over there. Hello, here you are. Ping. I mean, we need 21 kills. I, I, screw it, dude. Let's go pack a punch. Just to see what it looks like up here. Pack a punch number one. Oh, we can't actually use it. That's a shame, but I'm guessing that's the gun game mod. But it looks really cool. It's like the Origins pack a punch with. It looks like the crack. If any of you have seen Matt Smith's Doctor Who, you'll know what I'm talking about. The crack from that season. It literally, it, it does. It looks one for one the same. Also, oh, of course we've got a bloody megaton down there. Ooh, a free double. Don't mind if I do. All right, off we go. Ooh, maybe we don't go this way, actually. Probably not the safest idea. Oh, we got a Pack-a-Punch drop. Oh, I want it so badly. Oh, God, let's not go down. Ooh, see if I can... I got infinite ammo. Nice. That's something. Ah! What's happening? I picked up another drop. Oh, this gun has like... <gasps> Wait, I got the Reagan Mark 3s? Oh, it actually makes like Gersh device portals as well. What? What on earth is going on, dude? Pew. That's genuinely so sick. I think it swapped the weapon. Like, it said it's the... You have to press right trigger to shoot the left gun, which is a bit strange, but I, I'm not exactly complaining. Kind of wasting the hell out of the ammo, but it's fine. Come on, die already. There we go. What? <laughs> <laughs> what on earth is happening? Well, that was cool. Um, oh, it just feels so good running around with stamina up. Like, it literally, I'm so fast now. Can I buy claymores? I can't even buy claymores, man. I can buy the automatic turret, though. Oh, that's useful. Right, so I've got a right trigger and then shoot it once. Did that work? It disappeared. I got scammed. Okay, what about now? Pew, pew. There we go. It's a bit glitchy when you're trying to shoot it to make the portal, but it does eventually work, I think. Oh, God. Oh, I'm instantly downed. Well, we get to see what Tombstone does, I guess. Oh, shit. This is going to be interesting. I, how am I supposed to go down there? All right. I mean, we can try it. Ooh, fuck, 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 fuck. Come on. There can't be that many more zombies left. Oh, shit. Run. And I can revive myself. Wait, no. Huh? Oh, it automatically revived me, I guess. Never mind then. I don't think we lost any perks. <laughs> That's a bit broken. No one said this mod was uh, completely perfect. What on earth? What? <laughs> what? 
<laughs> okay. That's what I love about playing mods on zombies, because I swear to God, I'm literally just confused 90% of the time. And in a very good way, it's literally like... I don't know what's happening, but I'm still having a shitload of fun. Which, you know, compared to like Vanguard zombies, I'd rather be doing that, I suppose. Beep, 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 beep. Come on. Come on. MX Garand, you got this. We have 40 guns to go. Okay. <laughs> We're on almost round 20. I don't know if we can do this. I'm all for trying, but hey. Oh, what's that? A perk? I think we had all of them anyway, but like if I could just have a gun that actually dealt damage, that'd be nice. I swear I've had the MX Garand so many times now. We need like 12 more kills. It's a fucking Margua. Okay. I love when I just go around the corner and there's a Margua staring at me. I need to like properly train on the stage because I'm, I'm like going away from it and it's killing me every time. Okay, we got this. We got this. We've got some kind of infinite ammo, I think. Gimme, gimme. All right, this will help for sure. Ow, can we not with that? I need one kill. <gasps> yes, okay. I must have got demoted then, I guess. Pew, 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 pew. Kill the Magua. You've got to die any second now, please. All right, this gun is not the best. Insta-kill. Okay, this has got to kill you. Or oh, something, please. Infinite ammo moment. Oh, I've run out. Ah! Okay, ah! it's fine. Okay, I think the Mark was dead. Nice. Jesus, that took way more shots than I expected, but whatever. Four zombies left. Pew, pew. Pew to you and pew to you. It's actually triggering me so much, the fact that the perks are just off-centered now because of the visual glitch. It's fine, just don't think about it. Don't think about it, it's fine. You know, such a gloomy, like, dull map to look at. It really is. Look at how vibrant and colorful the goddamn perks look compared to just like everything on the map. I mean, it's going to look a bit better for you guys watching because I add a little bit of saturation and color boost to my videos just to make it like pop a bit more. Also, we're in a bit of a sticky situation here. Okay, never mind. We're fine. <laughs> oh, we're not fine. Oh my God. Fucking hell. Bro, you can't just spawn a megaton in front of me. That's illegal, dude. That's just, that's just cheating. Give me, give me this pack a punch drop, whatever this is. Like, is that promoting me or what? I'm just going to assume it is, but anyway. Hi, Megaton Split. Dude, they look so cool, though. Like, with the lower sort of Black Ops 1 style of textures. Because that's one thing a lot of people say about, like, BO3 onwards. They sort of went a bit more cartoony with the aesthetic, which I personally really like it. But a lot of, like, the old OG zombies fans from, like, World of War and BO1 definitely agree that the gritty look of BO1 is better. And I can understand why, even though I don't necessarily think so myself, you know? Also, yeah, we definitely did promote, which is nice. Uh, can we fucking die? Jesus, how immortal are you? There we go. Pew, 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 and that's the round. We're on round 20 now. 38,000 points. I wish I could spend stuff. God, it's making me feel a bit nauseous running around this bloody fast. Holy shit. I think I, I briefly said it earlier, but I was like overhyped by the uh, Megaton spawning in randomly. But yeah, I watched the FNAF movie and without spoiling anything, of course, because some people still haven't seen it, but I absolutely loved it. I think if you're not like a major fan of the games, then you're probably not going to enjoy it as much as I did. But I mean, I absolutely loved it. I would give it like a 9 out of 10. Matthew Lillard's performance was just top notch. I mean, all the acting was frankly pretty good. Even the uh, the kid who, to be honest, I'm not really a fan of kid actors in movies or anything really, but they pulled it off, you know? Nap is one of those things where like, similar to Zombies, I've sort of just, I've been sticking around with the franchise for a very long time. Technically longer than Zombies, Zombies, if you think about it, but because FNAF came out in like 2014 and Zombies came out in 2008 and I technically started playing Zombies in 2012? Or was it 13? I think it might have been 2013 actually. So I've been around with Zombies for a year longer. But FNAF is great and both of them have, like both franchises have ridiculously complicated timelines and shit and lore. And I'm a big fan of that in any franchise really because I like watching something and not having the full thing. I have to piece it together myself and sort of like watch other videos, for example, to find out backstory of, of certain things, you know? Like the whole thing with the missing children and just, just figuring out like who killed them, which animatronic was it that did the bite of 80 seven blah 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 it's cool you know a hey, nukes are actually goaded on this mod because just the fact that it actually promotes me is nice come on die bitches die die insta kill and oh yes we got my favorite drop get slapped <laughs> Bop. Oh. <laughs> oh that one literally never get old oh you thought you had a chance nope there's always one random straggler yeah here we go you gremlin 
We've got an MG4. This should be uh, interesting. Round 21 without Pack-A-Punch. I wanted to do this video on like playing Moon without using any oxygen. I was going to make it this really cool video thing, but unfortunately, I don't think it's actually possible because I tried my best. I got like 4,000 points saved from in Area 51, and I just died before I managed to get to the... Uh, oh, God. Move, please. Oh, there we go. I demoted, I think. Oh, no, I didn't. I think I'm okay. God almighty, that was close. But yeah, I tried my best. I didn't buy Jug though. Maybe if I bought Jug, I could have actually survived a bit longer and got to like the power room where you actually can breathe sort of. I mean, not the power room, but like the room after it. That's the thing with zombies. Like I, if I, I have some cool video ideas, but then I'll test it out and it just won't work or I just won't think that it'll get many views or people will be that interested. So I just don't do it. Because it's about finding that balance where it, it's a thing that I really enjoy doing, but it's also something that I think will succeed on YouTube. Like, it doesn't matter if I really enjoy something, if literally no one is watching, of course, you know? YouTube is this, like, strange balance you've got to find of doing what you love, but also doing what the audience is going to love as well. You cannot do just one or the other, otherwise it just won't work. So for anyone who's watching, who's like trying to get into zombies content, I mean, you have so many options. People say that, oh, there's very little zombies content you can actually do, which is frankly bullshit. Anyone who says that is just lying. I have a notepad with like a hundred plus different video ideas. Not all of them are going to work. I'm probably only going to do like 10% of them, but that's completely irrelevant because it's more about like just having an idea in your head or seeing something on YouTube that's really popular within zombies or whatever your niche is for, for, for content that you're doing and trying to put like a small spin on things so that you're not just flat out copying the person whose, you know, video you took inspiration from. Like, I took a lot of inspiration from Chrism's videos, but none of mine have been complete flat out copies. And the only one that actually has, I put Chrism in the title because it was literally doing his challenge. So it was based on him, you know? Oh God, a stupid crawl is getting me stuck every time. That's the, the one downside to Widows, actually. Dude, this Margwa is like immortal, bro. I mean, I know the Galil is untapped, but Jesus, I've got double tap 2.0. It doesn't feel like 2.0 to be honest, but I'm hearing like armor shredding noises, I guess, which is nice. Oh God, run. Come on, I need five kills. Oh shit. Oh, I'm just dead. <laughs> okay, game. Oh, I'm back. I guess I have to uh, redo the last gun and I don't get to... Uh... Maybe I am immortal, just like on Gun Game in BO3, which I'm not necessarily opposed to. Can you fucking die? For the love of God, dude. I'm going to turn the electric trap on. Is this going to... Please. <laughs> Just walked through it like nothing happened. Oh, there we go. Jesus, bro. Do electric trap kills? They don't count. No, that's so sad. I'm going to run through it. Please don't kill me. Okay, we're good. Do I have a red dot? Oh, no, I don't have a red dot sight. I thought... I think it was just like the reflection or... Yeah, that thing. I saw my arm and I thought, huh. They put attachments on the guns. Nope. Oh, the freaking crawlers, bro. Oh my god, the Widow's wine perk jingle's playing. One of the best jingles of all time. I, I mean, I think it's my personal favorite, actually. All right, where's the straggler crawler? I know there's like one or two left. Come here, you bastard. Yep, that's the last one, I imagine. Yep, it was. I really like the custom, like, Richtofen player or character card in the bottom left. Okay, it's really cool. I reckon we're going to get a megaton this round because it seems to be... Oh, yeah, here we go. Speaking of the devil, the Marga will spawn in and then the next round it will be the megaton. Which I'm fine with. It's like, you know, the megaton's actually a bit easier to deal with if we have Packet Punch, which we don't. Hello? Can we stop? My guns are just so weak at this point. Come on, come on, any year now. Oh, we're on the Galil. I'm stuck again, please. Oh, I'm immortal. I think this power keg drop that I picked up just makes you immortal, which is nice. I'm definitely a fan. I mean, who's going to say no to immortality, you know? Oh, a max. I don't know why I'm risking my life for a bloody max ammo, please. Yeah, this is why Widows, I, I constantly say this, but Widows is like a little bit overrated for me. I love it. Don't get me wrong. It can save your ass on so many maps, but at the same time, it can equally fuck you over like on this mod, because every time Widow's Wine activates, it just makes a ton of crawlers that trap me at my feet. There's only so much I can do, bro. The H, bro. Okay. The HBRO3 Packer Punched. Something I can actually use. Let's go. <laughs> the Apothecan Servant. Does it actually do any damage to him? I want to say it doesn't, but we'll see. Is he splitting? No. I don't, I don't think this is going to deal any damage to him, which is unfortunate. Wait, and I, if I can't kill him, I don't think I can get to the next round. Oh no. Please, please, I beg. Oh. 
Come on, die. You can die. I'm getting hit markers at least. Oh, good point. Wait, what if I try the trap? Come on, boy. Hurry your ass up. Dude, stop shooting me and run through it already. There we go. Okay, he's splitting. Let me, let me run back through it. Genius strategy. And you're dead, and you're dead. Wow, I'm actually big brain 101. Dude, they're spawning so fast. They're already here. Oh my god. Well, here we go. <laughs> Apothecan Servant on Kino de Toten. Never thought I'd say that, but this mod is awesome. Thank you for uh, the multiple comments I've had over the last like year suggesting to play it, and I've just not got around to doing it. I don't know why. Sort of put it off. Just one of those things where it's awesome and I do actually plan on doing it, but I just don't get around to it because I have so many other videos planned. Like, cause and effect has kind of died now. I uploaded a Shinonuma one the other day and it really, really flopped. Like, it was, I think, 9 out of 10 for my views at this point which nine out of ten obviously the low the higher the number the worse it is oh the p90 don't mind if i do we only have one map to do cause and effect on and then we're completely done i'm going to do this like compilation video just putting all of the uh the bo3 and zombies chronicles ones together i think kind of like a movie of cause and effect and then after that, I'm going to not touch the mod again for a while. Maybe on occasional, like, custom maps, you know? I realized that they Victus it wouldn't work on because, of course, the rounds are, like, outbreak. So you'd literally have a cause and effect thing per round and it would just, like, last for ages if it even worked in the first place. But we could do it on Water Park Zombies if it does work. And then, of course, on the remasters when they come out. Like Transit Remastered, Die Rise Buried, Classified, we've got Blood of the Dead coming as well. Like, there's a lot to look forward to. But I'm kind of just, like, not bored of BO3, but I just want to put out some different content. Hence why we're on BO1, of course, because BO1 is actually one of the Zombies games that I've played the least. And it's by no means because it's a bad game or anything. It's literally just because I first got into Zombies after the release of BO1, so naturally I just wasn't as into it as some people. Oh, we've got a Reagan Mark II! Hell yes! And it's pack a punch so for the love of God, if this Margwa could actually die, Ah, like, uh, what more do I need to do? Jesus, dude, I have a Reagan Mark II, come on. Oh, I think guns have infinite ammo by default anyway. That's nice. suppose it makes sense. Bro, any year now, Mark, where you can die. <laughs> Just makes Shadows of Evil even more difficult, apparently. Or like, well, not Shadows, but the Marg was from Shadows. I mean, they were pretty easy to beat on SOE, but anyway. Two zombies left. And um, bye-bye. We're like halfway through the guns. I shouldn't have put... Well, I mean, I think Packet Punched versions are just on by default. Might be here for a while. Actually, I don't think we are because, I mean, once we get off this Reagan Mark II, I'll be honest, I think we're kind of screwed. Oh, and I got this cool drop. I mean, I, I would ideally save it, but one more kill and we're on to... Oh, we're on the Packet Punched Reagan Mark III's now. Okay. Gotta appreciate the variety of, uh, of guns. All right, just spray the hell out of this shit. Totally gonna break my game. Just stand in the midst of all the black holes. The fact someone's actually po ported in like the Reagan Mark III is just, it's so baffling. Because you know, the Reagan Mark III came out in 2016. B01 was 2010. And obviously, you know, it's plutonium, the modern day sort of mod take on things. But still like, this is an old game. Two games before the release of the actual gun, they made it, like, pretty good. Still functions relatively the same. Alright, we're on scene 27. I mean, as soon as we get off this gun, it's not looking good. Unless we get the standard Reagan Mark II, maybe? This is so... This is crazy, man. Okay, the Agathan Reaper. It's packer punched So we, we have uh, faith, hope. I was going to mix the words. Haith, I guess. <laughs> I make a ton, you little piece of shit. If I put the turret on, it's gonna do absolutely nothing, but why not? Like, look at this pathetic thing. Come on, man. Split any year now. Ooh, we're already on another gun though, which is nice. And I think these trap kills might be counting, you know? And it's actually pack a punch, God bless. Also, another thing I can appreciate is when they split, they actually like split instantly. Wait, did the turret kill them? Okay, fair play, dude. I was, I was talking smack about the turret, man. I should have been, uh, should have been nicer. Actually got my back. That's crazy. We have almost 100,000 points. The model 1887. Okay. It, it might be GG if we, oh, this is going to be bad. Oh, fuck. I mean, I wasn't paying attention, but I don't think this gun's going to do much. I don't think we'll be able to get off it. Unless we get some kind of like a pack a punch drop and I'm just stuck, please. Oh yeah. I haven't even tried PhD yet. Kaboom. That was cool. 
but a bit useless. Oh, run. I mean, I'm slowly getting kills, but it's taking so long. What did I get? The drop. Oh, it's a free perk, but I just... Oh, the one drop that's actually kind of useless. 2,000 years later, and with the really long reload time as well. Oh, God. Oh, fucking crawl it. Oh, I got stuck again. Oh, and I got demoted. Oh, just absolutely tragic. I mean, I think that's going to pretty much do it for here because we've showcased pretty much everything awesome from this mod. There might be some more wonder weapons in this. We're going to redo this mod, of course. I'll probably try it without the gun game mod. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Oh, hello, Magua. Check out this video on screen. YouTube says that you might like it. And yeah, I will see you in the next video.